Today is the first day of February, which means it's the first day of Finish It February. Hi, I'm Roxanne Richardson, and every year I use the month of February to reduce my pile of UFOs, or unfinished objects, and I invite others to join me in the process. I reacquaint myself with projects I'd forgotten about, I say goodbye to projects that no longer interest me, and I work on the ones I'm most excited about seeing completed. I do this by keeping in mind what I enjoy most about knitting and understanding the kind of variety I need. I keep it fun to get it done. Some of you watching this will already be familiar with Finish It February, but if you're new to the idea and would like some tips for how to sort through your UFOs, I have devoted a segment in each episode of my Casual Friday podcast throughout the month of January to help you get started. You can find links to those episodes above as well as down in the video description. While some knitters don't start a new project until the current one is completed, most of us have at least some unfinished projects lying around or things that need to be mended or modified. For some knitters, the number of UFOs might be overwhelming. The first time I pulled out all my UFOs back in 2016, I had more than 40 of them, several that I hadn't seen for more than 10 years and one that was 25 years old. I'd completely forgotten they existed. My intent at the time was not to turn into a knitter who never had any UFOs, always completing the current project before starting something new. My intent was to figure out what was in that UFO pile and then do something about those projects. Some got frogged, some got tossed, some were given away, but many got finished eventually. I did all of this within the context of who I am as a knitter, not who I thought I should be. This year, I have just a couple of UFOs. I've made Finish It February an annual part of my knitting life, which has naturally caused the pile to get smaller. If I forget about a project, I'll be reminded of it in February. If I'm frustrated with a project in August, I can put it to the side without guilt, knowing that I'll have more patience for it when February comes around. Some UFOs remain in my UFO pile for several years until I figure out how I actually feel about it. Eventually, I either decide to finish it or I decide I will never grow to love it and it leaves the pile. Some knitters carry the idea of Finish It February through the year with Finish It Fridays so that they can continue to make progress on UFOs while also starting new projects to their heart's content. If you'd like camaraderie during Finish It February, I have a discussion thread in my Ravelry group where you can share your plans and progress, and I'll leave a link to that down below as well. If you get inspiration by seeing what others have accomplished during Finish It February, well, I present to you the projects completed by last year's participants in this montage.
Are you ready for Finish It February? I am. So let's get started.